Hey guys, so today I am going to make a couple modified pacifiers um, for Elena here. These ones right here are Nook brand and these are Dr. Brown's Advantage. And Elena does have a pacifier for, I mean, <laughs> she does have a magnet for a pacifier. But she also has a slightly open, well, a pretty detailed open mouth, I guess. And her, um, her mom would like modified pacifier as well. And I did actually try making her one last week. And I cut it just a tiny bit too short. So it would go in, it would stay in. But if you moved her head at all, it would kind of come off. Um... Modified pacifiers are tricky for me. I can definitely show you how to do them, but I swear 90% of the time I cut them too short. So I'm really just hoping that I'll get one out of these four. <clears throat> um, but I do like the shape of these. They have a nice um, long flat spot. So I'm thinking that this might work really well just like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the nipple off here. And I'm going to check that and then see what I need to do with it. All right. So that is a little bit too long. And I think I need to make it a little bit of a V shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this up a little bit and cut that corner. Pull it up on this side and this one is not very easy. I'm going to do it this way. We will cut that down and let me clean this up a little bit. All right, let's try this again. And I have not found a way that isn't just trial and error like this. All right, so again, I could get that to go in and stay, but it is a little bit long here. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing again. And with these, you know, I want to just go really slowly. So, you know, if I mess this up, I can cut this all the way off, do a magnet, use it for a magnetic pacifier. But because I bought these specifically for Lena, it would be nice to get a good working one. Okay. And that is perfect. Sort of perfect. I can move her around a bit. I really doubt her mom's going to be shaking her upside down. But this seems to stay in enough for my liking for sure. So I'm going to call that a major win. So that will be one. And then I think I will do, let's do this gray one here. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing, going slowly and checking since these are shaped differently. So see, this one is way too wide for her mouth. So before I take much length off, I want to just cut these corners off here. I can always make it shorter. I cannot make it longer. So let's let's try this first. And that is I wasn't quite expecting that to be so easy. I could possibly take it a touch shorter. Let me see. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit more than actually making it shorter. I have a little bit here that is not exactly like a line. 
and I do really recommend that you get some small hair cutting scissors for it. Um, I have tried doing them with regular scissors and it is quite difficult to do that. Perfect. Mm, sort of, maybe. Did I make it a little too short, perhaps? Maybe not. Mm, this one is not great, but I am still going to send her this one also. She can use it for, um, she can use it for photos. Like if Lena was just laying here fine, it would fit totally normal. Well, sort of. But this one is obviously much better. Um, the nipple shape on this one I knew was going to work better. So for the future, um, like you could see how different these are. These are a lot wider. They would probably work better for a baby with a wider, a real open mouth. This shape is pretty much perfect for this open mouth. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm going to send these two with her. I will keep these two for future use. But that is how to make a modified pacifier. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.